Hi all, uh, Q in here again. Hope you're all good. Um, this is a response video to uh, Noel Plum 99's video. Um, his video was called, oh, I don't have it up here actually, uh, Shit Storms and something, I think. Um, anyway, uh, hi Noel Plum, or Jim, as I believe you're called. Uh, hope you're good. Um, your video was about uh, how sometimes some people on the internet or a person on the internet you know, once in a while the person on the internet uh, does something uh, wrong or evil like does some plagiarization or does something that's very controversial and they get I think what you call a dog pile which is a load of people um, hating on them uh, I think that you went through a lot of cases in your video uh, which is a really good video by the way um, and uh, you, I think that the gist of these cases is that they are, they, I think you, we all accept that the person did do something wrong, uh, but that the, the, the response is a bit disproportionate because there are so many people involved responding to the, what the person did wrong. Uh, they get, uh, you know, kind of really horrible uh, time in their lives or maybe a horrible few days or maybe uh, it could have like a long-term effect you know they could be known for this this controversy uh, thereafter so it's uh, embarrassing for them in the long term um so yeah i think you asked uh, at the end of your video um uh, is this a bad thing um i personally yeah do feel quite strongly it's a bad thing uh I've actually refrained, I've been doing YouTube videos about four years, uh, or blogs I should say, because I've put them on other sites as well. Um, and uh, I've, I've refrained from doing this. I mean, I, I'm kind of aware that, yeah, this person is a real person and that uh, it may help me make a name for myself to like hate upon this person. Um, but I, I have to stay clear of doing it. Um, Part of my motivation is just I've, I've tried to steer clear of negativity generally, and I try not to have a, fl a flame war with someone. I try and focus on the uh, on the positives. I think that's better. Uh, flame wars can be kind of they have their upsides because they're kind of fun for people to watch if they're not actually com com uh, combatant in in it. Uh, but um, they uh, they kind of I think they create negativity in the world. They kind of discourage people from having expressing their ideas and the uh, uh, I don't know negativity is kind of hard to uh, uh, difficult to justify this I mean I, I uh, it's kind of obvious to me that negativity is kind of bad thing but it's obviously not not obvious to some YouTube um, video makers um, well it's not a priority um, also, I'm a radical egalitarian. Uh, I'm sure you won't be on board with this uh, idea, Jim. I think I had a brief exchange with you about this once. Um, and uh, yeah, I believe that uh, fame should effectively be banned. I'm, I'm a kind of, um, I've got this system called uh, Equal Satisfaction. And uh, I'll put a link to this site called Q and Hub, uh, which you can follow the links to Equal Satisfaction if, if anybody's interested. But um, Basically, the upshot of it for something like uh, vlogging would be I'd uh, cap the maximum number of views on a, on a video to say something like 200. That way we wouldn't have these stars of the internet. Um, we'd lose a lot, obviously, in terms of the, the entertainment value of certain people, but uh, I think it would be a more civilized kind of kind of world. Um, but that's more part of my kind of general egalitarianism, I suppose. Um, I think we have, if, if it's possible to become really successful or a huge failure, we it makes us all uh, stressed and also makes us all compete uh, with one another, which I just see as generally a bad thing for humanity to do. It is kind of best if we have a kind of level uh, life where we don't have these enormous ups and downs that we don't have these competitive people getting to the top of society and we don't in fact have a top of society um, so I think that that's all uh, that's where I wanted it to go um, but uh, as most people won't be on board with that uh, I suppose I should talk about steps in that direction I think that steps in that direction are generally uh, 
Oh, welcome, uh, and that's why I welcome your video. Um, you, I think you have been involved in these dog piles, as you call them, a little in the past. I think you, you fully admit that. And uh, you're saying that you were aware that it, even for these people, you kind of felt a bit of anger towards like the person who did the video against fat people. Um, you do feel it is, it is disproportionate. Uh, uh, and uh, do you want to at least take a, a little step in the, in the direction of um, of not of not being out there with the pitchforks and whatever, being one part of the angry mob? Um, I think that's uh, I think it's commendable. You're saying basically you're going to just try and not at least check whether you're doing something original. There's, there isn't someone else with a pitchfork. Um, so to speak, uh, doing the same, saying exactly the same thing at the same time, uh, but just making that one person's life, life a misery. Um, I would say also that there's a, there's a general, there's another problem with with this kind of thing is that it's basically um, it's an example of fashion uh, on the internet dictating what what people say, and that also just detracts from us doing the important thing. So. If I feel I must do a video about twerking because it's a certain month and everyone's doing talking about twerking, um, then that detracts from you know. Say I want to talk about a, a more important issue like um, the rise of uh, of artificial intelligence or whatever. I don't know. It's a really important issue. So that's 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 another issue here, isn't it? Um, uh, this is an example of fashion. It's not it's not just a bad for one person, it's also bad for everybody if we're all just talking, we're all like, you know, conformist uh, zombies kind of following this, having to talk about certain top feeling we have to talk about certain certain topics. Um, so yeah, I think at the end of your video, you kind of, oh, sorry, you call, you, your name of your video was a problem, it's coming back to me now, a problem without a solution or something, but I don't think, I don't think you really believe that, I think you think that the you can see some solutions. I mean, one solution is, as you say, we all like we just create a culture of restraint where we where we don't um, we don't do these dog piles so much. And uh, also, as viewers, we can be part of that. But even if we're not making blogs ourselves, um, like for example, uh, Thunderfoot, the um, YouTuber, makes. Uh, I think it's a little bit more than you involved in these dog piles. I think. Uh, I think it's fair to say, and uh, we we can just say to like them, oh, okay, we're not that impressed with your videos. You know, we don't care about the individuals you talk about. <clears throat> can you talk about the issues, please? I mean, we don't care whether Anita Sarkeesian is a dishonest person or not. It doesn't really matter, even if she is a dishonest person. Um, maybe there still is a patriarchy. You really have to talk about the issues, like is there a patriarchy? Or not, rather than assassinate one person's character, or, or, or even if you're right, you know, you're pointing out that this person is a bad person or a dishonest person or whatever. It's not just not that important to us. It doesn't really matter. Um, when you when you were, actually at the end of your, your video, you you called for suggestions. Uh, I wasn't sure if you were talking about um, asking for suggestions for what the likes of Google could do, like what the, the the laws of the internet or the terms of service could be, or uh, whether you were talking about us as individuals, uh, individual vloggers and, and viewers. Um, as individual vloggers and viewers, I, I mean, I don't have that many great ideas here, but yes, we can show a lot more restraint, and you you have made a very positive suggestion of what, how you're going to do that, how you're going to try and do that. Uh, I think any move in that direction is, is going to be it's going to be positive. What thought I did have that the likes of Google could have is you were, you were worrying that some people, some people may be dogpiling because they don't know the size of the dog pile. I mean, I think from what you were saying, you you do you do. Um, I think we do get a sense of the size of the dog pile somehow just through the our little our connections to nearby nodes, uh, like which video users we follow. I think you didn't seem to have. A, actual problem identifying which events in the past were dog piles. So I think we do, there is some sense of what the dog pile, how big the dog pile is. I guess we're not seeing private, some people send horrible trolley private messages to these people or something. I mean, like, yeah, we can't see that. Um, but one one thing I thought we could have is just some, 
I don't know, some kind of message could come up if there is a dog pile in process, or uh, YouTube could demand that we watch some of the other response videos before we make our own so to get a sense of, of that. Um, or there could be a warning up saying, you know, this person is being, it is reaching harassment levels. Uh, can you please restrain your um, your comments? Uh, those are ideas we could have. Notice at the end of your video, you, uh, I'm rambling on a bit now, I'll bring it to a close, but the last thing I remember now, at the end of your video, you said, oh, but I don't want to hear the Sarkeesian kind of um, uh, responses. I mean, I don't know if, uh, maybe you said it, you didn't mean to say it quite that way, but you sound like you're really closing down debate to one group of people who want to um, make a, a, a view on this. I'm not sure what exactly Sarkeesian's um, uh, solution is here, um, but uh, if it's something to do with anti-harassment laws, I may be uh, well, more more sympathetic to her view than than, than you are. I'm not. I'm. I'm I, I don't want to ban like um, anti-feminists or something like that, but um, we can certainly have anti-harassment laws with, where you are sort of banned from harassing one individual who's, who's really highly harassed. I don't think that would harm freedom of speech in the sense that, of the important things we have to say, like against the patriarchy, who just stop us like um, saying things against certain people, um, which in the case of where they're, not, where they're not actual politicians or people in positions of power, then it doesn't really matter if we are restrained from talking about so easy and it might be a good thing if we were, uh, for legal reasons, unable to talk about um, particular individuals who don't, don't really matter anyway. Uh, anyway, those are my thoughts. Thank you so much for welcoming the, the debate and uh, for taking steps in what I see to be the right direction. All the best, mate.